Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, October 18th. This is going to be your angel message reading. So if you're drawn to this reading, it doesn't matter what sign you are. The message is meant for you. So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending a will. Your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see. What advice? What advice do you have for the collective? Whomever is drawn to this reading, what advice do you have for the collective? Truth and only truth. We have direction, guardian, choose your path. You're being redirected on your path to where you need to be. Trust your intuition. Trust that your gut, your, your intuitive abilities are gonna guide you on the right path because you're definitely being redirected. They're saying with Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. You're getting downloads. God is giving you clarity on what you need to do, what you need to release, and which path you need to be on. High Priest, because you are here to intend and create. You are here to use your psychic abilities, your intuitive abilities, to create something for the greater good of humanity. The bottom of the deck, you will enjoy success and happiness doing this. That's beautiful. All right, let's get from another deck. What advice do you have for the collective, please? Truth and only truth for the collective. I will not be surprised if enjoy where you are, for soon you will be somewhere else doesn't come out. I will, will not be surprised. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good, please? Okay, so the first card out is is you are the breath. Listen and connect to your intuition. Like I said, your intuition is guiding you on a new path. You are worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in yourself. God wants you to have your heart's desire. He truly does. And he wants you to have it while sim simultaneously doing good for others, helping others. You are being called into service. Believe in your own guidance. You have a purpose in this lifetime. And that's what you're being led toward that purpose. Then we have your healing your heart. The heart hurts, but it will mend in time. God knows about all the heartbreak that you've experienced. And now it's time for you to let go. It's safe for you to let go. You are surrounded by love. The bottom of the deck says you deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want. Underneath that is be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. Wow, I want to get, they're saying to get one more. Okay, truth and only truth. Stay the course. You are moving in the right direction. All right, that's awesome. Okay, let's see what else we get, guys. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know for their highest good? Truth and only truth for the collective. You're going to be celebrating because you did the hard work. You did your shadow work. You found value within you. You found happiness within you. You did all that work to heal those broken parts inside of you that call in karmic relationships. You receiving downloads from the divine. You can clearly hear what God is saying to you. Woo. And balance is being restored at this time. So it's safe for you to let go. It's safe for you to let go and surrender. Your needs will be met. You have limitless possibilities when you surrender. You're a free spirit. Flow with the river and see where it takes you. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to do the Cancerian Oracle, and then I'm going to do some of the other decks and see what comes out. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know for their highest good? Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know? Learn and teach. You're meant to learn from your past and teach others how to overcome what you've overcome, how you've healed, how you stay in a high vibration, how you manifest. Celebration again. You're going to be celebrating. For some of you, it's a few weeks from now. What is this few weeks from now? 
an opportunity is coming in. They don't want you to settle. They said it's up to you, but they want you to dream big. Now I got the ambulance. Continue to set boundaries with past energies you've already released. They are not meant to go forward with you. The universe is clearing the path for you at this time. They want you to tr trust God. Completely trust in God. God is going to provide for you what you need, okay? Because he knows you need to move on. He's redirecting you. He's the one that's redirecting you. So he knows what your needs are. Oops, one more. Yeah, you're a natural born leader. This can be you opening your own business. This is you being in a leadership role. This is destined for you. This is what you are meant to do. You are born to lead in this lifetime. Okay, let's do the wisdom of the hidden realms. Let's see what we get. What does the collective need to know for their highest good, please? What does the collective need to know for their highest good, please? Okay, we got well watcher, wisdom, power of the divine. You have divine power, divine wisdom within you. That's what guides you. That's your driving force is God. Then we have spiral dancer, circuitous, circuitous route and perception. Though, so this is you. You have changed your perception, but you are also helping others to change their perception so that they can heal. The arrow master hitting the mark intention and detachment you are detaching from what no longer serves you which is allowing you to hit the mark what it is you're meant to create what you're meant to do by excluding people from your life that are no longer in alignment you have an open channel so you know what it is you're supposed to create what you're meant to do in this lifetime yeah and then you have very cold detached energy here um they're upset because they can't stop you from progressing. But that's since the beginning of time. There's always going to be someone that is jealous or envious of you. And that's just the way it is. Because they're the ice queen and you are the queen of light. You're the queen of light. Do you see the difference in the cards? The ice queen and then the queen of light. The Queen of Light says illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. Three times now, we have seen celebration. You are going to be celebrating. Yeah, you have, look at the image. She's got a halo of light around her head and she holds the light in both hands. She is in union with the divine. Very tapped in, very connected, and very balanced in her energy. This is God's power within you. The High Lady of Love and Compassion, Reverence, kindness and consideration that is also you your compassion is what set you apart your compassion is why you were chosen to be on this path to serve god which is beautiful i love it what does the collective need to know for their highest good please what does the collective need to know for their highest good please just give me one card out of this deck please stars you can manifest you can manifest every wish wow that's awesome they are supporting you in your manifesting that's beautiful okay let's get one from this stack truth and only truth for the collective just give me one card please one card please we got two acceptance they are asking you now to accept things that you cannot change and have faith. Have faith. You have the wisdom. You have the wisdom and knowledge um, that you need to move forward in a way that is in alignment with your highest good and the highest good of others. That's beautiful. Okay, let's do the fairies here. Get one card from the fairies. Truth and only truth for the collective. What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need? Abundance just flipped out of the deck. What do they need to know? Hope. We got the card of hope. It says, hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimism. Expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. 
Now I'm gonna do the star seed deck and then we'll end it here. All right. What does the collective need to know for their highest good? What does the collective need to know for their highest good, please? What does the collective need to know for their highest good? I think we got this yesterday. Inner Earth, you'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. New beginnings, wow. Your life is a canvas, artist, a manifestation, creative, and accountability. Yeah you are manifesting a new life. That's what this says. You're manifesting a new life, one that is very creative, one that is self-expressive, uh, being your true authentic self, doing what it is you're called to do. Lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before, remembering. Remembering what your gifts are, remembering what you're meant to do. Ooh, that gave me chills. Star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, and activation. Yeah, you activating, you ascending higher into a higher spiritual realm, activating your light body. Big picture thinking. Pleiades, I caught this yesterday. Visionary and inspired ideas. You are visionary and you are receiving inspired ideas. Double mission, light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you. If you needed that confirmation, wow, you are a light worker, a star seed, and you were created to serve this world by being you. You were. That's amazing. All right, guys, this is your angel message. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.